Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and I am Subhash Chandra. This video is going to be an eye-opening video for you. I am pretty much sure about it. Because we are going to discuss about one of the crucial part in our work-life culture. So what we are going to discuss about in this video is nothing but when to switch your job. I hope many of you may agree with me that switching a job is not as easier as we think actually. We have a lot of issues while switching a job. It's not only about money all the time. Because we are all emotional people. We have emotions attached with the place, with the office premises, with friends and with the kind of culture within the organization. So there will be n number of reasons why we don't want to switch. But there will be one vital reason why you want to switch. So how to assess that and what is the basis? It varies from person to person based on their mental ability. So I feel that switching a job is not that easier unless until you have a concrete plan or concrete method in order to come to a conclusion actually. So coming to a conclusion with proper assessment is one of the very important thing while switching a job. It also applies for going into a new job as well. But switching a job is also helps you to enhance your life. If you don't take proper decision on timely basis, when a new opportunity comes to you, you may not be able to make use of it. So it's really important to understand what are the parameters that you have to assess while switching a job. Most of the times you should not be blindly switching because the job which you are already into may be a better than the job that you are going to moving on. So you have to assess what is best and what is not good for you whether it's working or not working, whether it is really going to be useful or not going to be useful, all these parameters needs to be assessed. So in this video, my I'm going to present my view about switching a job. You may agree or you may not agree. If you agree with me, you can use this assessment in order to make a decision to when to switch your job. So without wasting your time, let's get started. My first point is work in a field where you have a deep connectivity. Basically, you have to work in an interested field where you have a connection to the field actually. See, maybe you're working in one particular company, but you don't feel any connectivity. You may be getting a good salary, the organization is better or um, your friends and colleagues ambience or everything is better. But you don't feel a connectivity with the job. You don't like the job day in and day out of your job you don't wish to continue this job anymore though you have a lot of supporting factors actually if you have this kind of feel then you have to shift your job the reason why is that see the amount of hours that you are spending in your job is much more than amount of hours that you are spending for your personal time so this is going to emotionally drive your health and your mental health and all of your decisions in your personal life as well. If you don't wish to work or you don't feel any connectivity, you don't, if you're not working in an interested field, that will always have an impact in other part of your life. If this is what your feel is all about, then you have to shift your job. The reason why I'm telling you is that the amount of hour that you're spending in your work is much more than the amount of hours you're spending in your personal time. So if you're not interested and you're forced to do something for eight hours, 10 hours in a day, that will also have an impact in your personal life in order to take some good decisions. So if you're working in a interested field, you will have that energy, that enthusiasm, that urge to do more and more. So that will also reflect in your personal life to make better decisions. So I would strongly say work in an interested field where you have a deep connection. So just do not copy from your friends or anybody else for the sake of money. If you're moving to an another field where you uh, just by looking at the money point of view, actually, you may not be able to successful. You can see a lot of examples in the world. Actually, I'm not going to give a particular examples. The people, those who have excelled and succeeded are those who are interested and have a deep connectivity in that particular field that they are working. So with this, let me move to the second point of it. See, the second point is about Switch only if you are unable to grow further in terms of your knowledge enhancement, remuneration and responsibility. But it doesn't mean that you can change your field actually. See, you have to switch only if you 
feel that you don't have any growth perspective in terms of remuneration uh, responsibilities or knowledge uh, point of view actually so if you are not able to achieve these three parameters knowledge remuneration and responsibility definitely you have to move because that's what a human tendency is about see we have to grow we have to evolve mentally and physically also actually physically there is a limitation but mentally you don't have any limitations actually so if somebody is stopping your knowledge enhancement somebody is stopping your uh, the salary enhancement somebody is stopping your responsibilities though you are capable then that's the point that you have to move to a place where you can enhance your knowledge go to more responsibilities and take more salary so that's my second take on it let me go to the third the third one is that switch only if you are uncomfortable performing your day to day task due to peer pressure or work pressure see you if you are uncomfortable you cannot work though you may like the job you may like the organization but you feel like uncomfortable there is a toxic atmosphere around you people are not helping you people are not accommodating you 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 always feel old to that environment actually don't worry about it you can always switch because see your life is not dependent upon one particular team or one particular company you have a lot of options why do have worry actually you have n number of companies on n number of fields that where you can excel only thing you need to have is that you need to have some interest in learning and determination i will not recommend you to move uh to a different field just because that uh, feeling an uncomfortability in a particular company but you can always switch to a better company where where you have a better culture where you have a better people where you have better opportunities actually so that's how it goes actually but being uncomfortable it's not going to help you see for example if you are uncomfortable you may not be able to think properly so if you're not able to think properly you you may not be able to work properly so it's as simple as that i don't want to put most complicated statements over here actually so your the culture of the organization and the people of the um, uh, you, your team has to comfort you comfort you not by just pleasing you actually they have to have that friendly nature they have to accept your mistakes and appreciate your your efforts and achievements so that's how it is actually so if you are uncomfortable please move on now let's go to the fourth one switch only if your job does not support your personal life so this is very very important that i would say actually you know why it is why are we working we are working for something else we are working to enjoy our personal life we are working to support our families and children actually see if your job is not supporting your personal life or anybody who is associated with you is there any point in continuing that job so this is my personal opinion actually if i feel that the kind of a job that i'm doing is not even supportive enough to my families and my parents and my children there is no point in working i should move to the some other job where they also feel comfortable so after all life is all about giving and taking and supporting with each other right so you got to have this concept in your mind very clearly so only then you will be able to take good decisions switch if your job is not supporting to your personal life now let's go to the fifth point fifth point is do not switch to any other field as a result of speculative informations and personal obsession what is speculative informations and personal obsession let's understand this very clearly see we are in an era where social media post and informations are taking a lead in our life and it is indeed influencing your decision so you have to be you have to make sure that these post and these informations are not driving your decisions see if you are interested in any particular field uh, i will definitely support you and my point is also like that actually see if you are interested in any particular area you can go but you have to analyze your intention you have to assess your int- intention whether your decision is based on any speculative information that you have seen in social media like youtube and facebook or anywhere if that is the case you have to assess actually you have to really know whether you can really make a good life or not actually just because uh, you are finding a speculative information should not drive your personal decisions let me tell you there are times that people move to an it field when there is a job loss in mechanical or any other field and there are times that people move to a different field when there is a job loss in it field so these are speculations actually your decision should not be taken based on speculations this is my point and what is um, personal obsession personal obsession is that 
There are people always think about a particular field is the best in the world. There is no other field exists in the world. That personal obsession is completely wrong. So if you think you can only make life in IT field, that's uh, that's uh, that's not the right way to think. I'm saying actually, because the people who are working in IT field is not the only guys who are leading a good life. There are people working in mechanical. There are people working in electrical, electronics, and so many other professions, sales and marketing. There are productions actually. See, people are excelling in each and every uh, disciplines in the field based on their determination, working effort, hard working ability to adapt to the new uh, the work life culture. That's how it is actually. But if you still think well, I can only succeed in one particular field, then it's it's your personal obsession. So working in a different field and if we want to move to the uh, another field just because of your personal obsession is not supported at all. See, if you want to move to a different field, you have to know the nature of job will you be able to like or not. You have to know whether you know anything about that particular job just because as a new person moving through to a new field, it's not recommended. So be careful about your decision if it is based on speculative information or personal obsession. See, for personal obsession, you should always have a fact. Personal obsession could be anything. If you want, you want to become an IAS, you want to become a doctor, you want to become an engineer, only then your life will grow. That is okay. That's fine actually. But it should also be supported with the facts. If you don't have facts and simply you're moving and after moving, you came to know that this field is not suitable for you, then your, your decision is wrong. That's what I'm saying. Most of the time, the decisions based on personal obsession goes wrong. But decision based on uh, facts, it never goes wrong. This is what I wanted to tell you. So these are my five observations. So five assessment, the methods by which you can take a decision whether you can switch your job or not. Make this assessment wisely so that this will help you to enhance your life by taking a right decision. I will meet you in another fantastic video. Until then, bye from Subhash Chandra.